30 years. And the advantage of doing such a program was... Pull, 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 both of you pull. Both of you pull, yeah. You will leave. Pull, pull. Both of you pull. When you pull, both of you go. Yes, I guess. And pull it 
like this, it goes like this, right? Suppose you just pull it with the force, what will happen? <laughs> suppose if I pull it from here, suppose if I just leave it like this, leaving it like this means I am giving only gravity. Correct? I am not giving a push, I am only giving yeah. gravity. Suppose if I pull it like this, it will come back. Will it come back and touch here? It will not take a longer one. Will it take longer than this? No. If I just pull it here and leave it, it will come less than this one, right? But if I forcefully push it, then it may come and hit back. If I don't use the force, only gravity, it takes a period which is equivalent to, proportional to the length. If I have got more length, the period will become more, right? Directly proportional. This is a basic equation. Now this works with the a force if I give it will go like this. Go on like this. You know what to do? Go go. Come back to college. Go go. Come back to college. Simple mental method. You must get disturbed. You know what is to be disturbed? You are boring. What is this boring? Right? Now what you should do? You must disturb it. I came home disturb it. I am disturbing your regular thing. Saturday is not regular, regular, regular. So I am disturbing. What is that I am doing? In this simple pendulum, I am keeping a magnet. What has happened? You see what happened? Disturbed. So now what is the pendulum? Direction? I am not doing any magic. You help at home. It was moving like this, but if I keep a magnet, it goes vertically. Just opposite. So tomorrow onwards, you should just pick up opposite. <laughs> don't go home, don't work and say. Don't come to college, don't work and say. Your activity should change. You see, a force is that which can change the normal behavior. There is a nice FIT professor. I don't know how many of you have seen that. And these lights are from him. He writes, you have got a length and a mass. And you have got P which is period to 2 pi square root of L by G. Directly proportional to G, L. And G is gravitational force. And this mass doesn't care. It is not to depend on M, only on L. And you know G is written as 9.8 meter per second per second. Do you write like this? Why? Why this MIT professor has written meter per second per second? You know why? You put something in the space 200 kilometer height. You go. No, don't go 200 kilometers. You don't go to 10 kilometers and further you fall, make something to fall. It moves 9.8 meter per second. You never understood the gravity in this time. I am going to give you gravity in a different time. Listen, understand. You will have to explain to me back. 9.8 meter it falls in one second. That's why gravitational force is 9.8 meter per second. If somebody asks you why gravitational force is 9.8 meter per second, do you have any answer? You will say it is like that. Somebody told you this. Who told you? Newton told you there is gravity and he also measured. He will show you before Newton, 1200 years before, what I am going to talk about. I mean, Eastern philosophy, right? So I learned who scientists want to be right? Now you put it 9.8 meter per second, correct? And next second you will know what will happen. 9.8 meter because it's already moving, it will add 9.8. It will become more. 9.8 meter per second per second. Understood? Acceleration will go up. That's why you will put acceleration there. Acceleration is what? When velocity changes, it becomes acceleration. That's why you say universe gravity is meter per second square. It is not velocity. That means what? When it falls in the beginning, it will be slow. But once it comes to ground, it becomes very fast. If you put it from farther height, it will become farther. Suppose 9.8 meter height if you just put it. 9.8 meter, you take some item and then make it to fall. Exactly measure 9.8 at your house. Go to second floor. These three meters. So three floors you should have. Go to third floor, top and then put something. It takes exactly one second. If you don't have watch, you measure one. The time of one second will be the time it takes to fall 9.8 meters. 